Anatomy of the Gluteus Maximus Muscle The Gluteus Maximus Muscle originates from the gluteal surface of the ilium, from the lumbar fascia, from the sacrum, and sacrotuberous ligament. The lower deep quarter of the gluteus maximus muscle is inserted into the gluteal tuberosity of the femur. The upper and larger portion of the muscle, together with the lower portion, insert into the iliotibial band of the fascia lata, which passes across the greater trochanter. Fibers of the gluteus maximus muscle run downward and laterally. Here you can see the three gluteal lines, the inferior gluteal line, the anterior gluteal line, and the posterior gluteal line. And you can see part of the origin of the gluteus maximus is from the gluteal surface of the ilium, which is posterior to the posterior gluteal line. You can also see the gluteal tuberosity of the femur, which provide insertion to the lower part of the gluteus maximus. The upper part of the gluteus maximus inserts into the iliotibial band of the fascia lata, as you can see here in this diagram. There are three gluteal muscles, the gluteus minimus, the gluteus medius, and the gluteus maximus. The gluteus maximus is the largest and the most superficial of the three gluteal muscles. The blood supply of the gluteus maximus comes from the superior and inferior gluteal arteries. Nerve supply. The nerve supply to the gluteus maximus muscle is given by the inferior gluteal nerve, L5, S1, S2 nerve roots. The gluteus maximus muscle is mainly supplied by S1 nerve root. Here is a diagram of the lumbosacral plexus, and you can see the inferior gluteal nerve. Function Gluteus maximus is a major extensor of the hip joint. It also assists in external rotation and abduction. Testing function of the gluteus maximus muscle. With the leg moved into a vertical position, the strength of the gluteus maximus muscle is tested by the patient resisting the downward pressure being placed on the thigh. When the gluteus maximus muscle is weak, the patient will be unable to resist the downward pressure being placed on the thigh. Gluteus maximus muscle strength exercises. Exercises such as lunge are good body resistance exercises that target the gluteal muscles in the buttock, the quadriceps, and the hamstring muscles. Using ankle weights is also beneficial when doing extension exercises for the gluteal muscles. Stability balls can also be used for better result in gluteal muscle exercises. How about gluteus maximus gait? When the gluteus maximus muscle is weak, the trunk lurches backwards. There will be extension of the trunk. It occurs at the heel strike on the weakened side to interrupt the forward motion of the trunk. This compensates for weakness of hip extension. It occurs at the heel strike on a weak side. Other pathological conditions. Duchenne muscular dystrophy. The Gower sign describes a patient that has to use his hands and arms to walk up his body in order to achieve an erect position. This is due to weakness of the quadriceps and the gluteal muscles. The first muscle group displaying weakness is the gluteus maximus, with more weakness in the proximal muscles, quadriceps and hip abductors than distal.
Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.